Transgenderism has become a hot topic, and it's often grouped together with homosexual causes under the heading of LGBT. However, this is not about sexuality, but about identity. Homosexuality involves an attraction to those of the same sex that results in sexual relations. Transgenderism is about how one identifies himself or herself. It's sometimes called gender dysphoria, which is defined as an unease or dissatisfaction with one's gender. Those who argue on behalf of transgenderism claim that these individuals are simply being true to themselves and that the gender they were assigned at birth is different from who they are on the inside or how they identify themselves. They claim that this is not a choice. For example, a man might choose to wear women's clothing but not be transgender. Approximately 1.4 million individuals identify as transgender in the United States. A survey conducted in 2015 found that 41 percent of young adults between the ages of 18 and 24 have at least one transgender acquaintance. And this ought to show that it is a learned behavior, not an inherent identity. About 63% of teens who claim to be transgender have previously been diagnosed with at least one mental health disorder or neurodevelopment disability. The attempted suicide rates of transgender adolescents are alarmingly high. Roughly 50% of transgender females, 40% of gender non-conforming teens claim to be neither exclusively male or female, and 30% of transgender males, 96% of transgender teens engage in self-harm. This means that the push to accept this as normal is not helpful. It's harmful. The helpful and loving thing to do would be to help these individuals as they deal with this and work to overcome it. But what does the Bible say about this subject? God made people male and female. In the beginning, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Genesis 1 and verse 27. And this has continued ever since. The forming of individuals in the womb is attributed to God. The psalmist wrote, For you formed my inward parts, you wove me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. God also had a reason for creating two distinct genders, and this is why God made a woman to be the helper suitable for the man in Genesis 2 and verse 18, and this is further shown by the fact that God gave different roles for males and females. Next we see that the law of Moses prohibited men and women from portraying themselves as being of the other gender. We read in Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5 that a woman shall not wear a man's clothing, nor shall a man put on a woman's clothing. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord your God. Now cross-dressing is not the same thing as transgenderism. However, the point of this passage is to show God's expectations for the two genders to be distinct and recognized. But then we also see that how we feel about ourselves may not always reflect reality. Jeremiah recorded this warning from God, The heart is more deceitful than all else and is desperately sick. Who can understand it? Jeremiah 17 and verse 9. The Christians in Laodicea felt that they were rich, wealthy, and have need of nothing. Yet the Lord correctly saw them in their spiritual condition as being wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, Revelation 3 and verse 17. Now it is possible for a male to feel like a female or vice versa, but that does not make it so. God made man and woman. While various factors may lead some individuals to feel like they are different from their biological gender, this does not change 
how God created them and the roles and the responsibilities that come as a result of that. And with that being said, we prove from the scriptures that transgenderism is wrong. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today, and have a blessed day.